So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In today's video I am going to show you how you can create lists using Smart Narratives Visual and some DAX. I see that you enjoy my multi-card trick so I thought that you might enjoy these too. I use it all the time. It's very very useful so let's get started. So what we're going to do in this video is this. I have here a country filter and as you can see when I ch change the country it gives me the top three categories for the specific country and then it creates a list with the category and the actual sales value for that specific country. I don't have any year uh, filtering here so all years. Okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a virtual table that give us the sum of sales by category. So we're going to use summarize and then we're going to use categories and then we're going to use category name and then the new column is going to be called sales and this is just the sum of sales so i have a measure that is sum of sales and that's all oh, sales just sales and that's all if you press enter you'll see that it gives us a list of or a table of category names and sales for those um, if you have a big data set, you want to probably use summarize and add columns, but most of the data sets are small, so this will work. So now that we have these, what we want to know is we want to know what are the top three. So for that, we normally would use a top three, a top n, and this is the top three of the table that you see here, this table in here. And then we're going to have order by sales. And I wanted to have, I never know if it's descending or ascending. I think it's descending, right? So because this is the top sales, yes. So now we have a table that gives us the three top sales by category. So what we need to do now is we're going to copy these and we're going to use it in the measure to be able to create this concatenate uh, list. So to create the concatenation, to actually create the list, this is what we're going to do. We create a new measure. And this is going to be list top three. And we're going to use concatenate x. The first thing is we put in concatenate x is the table that you want to do the concatenation on, which is the one that we just created. And then we're going to do this. The first thing that we need is to have this unitar um, tick box. So if you go to any type of Unicode unitar list and green check box, you will see here that this is the 9989 code. So we go here, unitar or unicar, I'm not sure, 9989. And then we're going to concatenate this, give it a little bit of space with a category name. And we are going to concatenate that with the uh, separator. And then we want to have here sales, right? Sales. And then what we want is the separator, the delimiter for the concatenation is going to be unitar. 10 which is basically a tab or a line feed or you know next line and then we want to sort these by the sales and we want to have it descending. I don't know. so just put it somewhere so you can actually see it right so this looks quite good. There are a few problems and one of them is just, you know, the formatting thing. So we need to actually go here and format these um, with a use pounds because I have it available on my keyboard. Um, I never remember these format things. Let's hope that is something like that. Okay, so there we have it. So that this is the formatting that you need to do and now we have the list so how do you put together this thing up there so the last step is to actually use the smart narrative visual for you know to put everything together so we're going to click on the smart narrative it's going to tell you that not possible that's fine 
And now you start writing. So the top three categories for, I mean, I find this a little bit difficult to work with. So I've learned a few tricks. I find that it's easier to actually write text before and after while you're putting something in between. I don't know why. Selected country. This is just a selected value for country. Nothing else. And this is the one that will give us whatever it is chosen on the slicer. And then is, then you shift enter. And then you put the top three, list top three. There you have it. And then it will be formatted to the, you know, sorted to the uh, left and it will look actually very, very pretty. I would rather have actually this tick box, this one, instead of the other one. You know, if we go here to list of three, it would change that to that one. And here for the country, I would rather put the the country flag because I think we, you want to know first what country is and then you know the categories. Unfortunately, the smart narrative visuals, I, for me, it does not display images. It does display images, but not images. So I haven't been able to do that, which is a, a bit of a pity, actually. Then there is this uh, version here uh, that uses an a different emoji for each category and the way I did it was just create a um, a new column that has the different uh, emojis for the different categories. So the actual code then will be like that. So categories emoji concatenated with the category name, right? So very, very, very easy. So I hope that the smart narratives will in the future add images so they can be displayed. It will be actually quite helpful. Okay, so thank you for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again on Thursday, hopefully, with another video. Until then, as always, take care. Bye-bye.